Boom, boom, this is Kendra, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. All right, we got a little bit of Don Machi up today, so let's go ahead and jump right into it because we got a lot to go over. If you were unable to access the event tab yesterday, that has been fixed. I was one. Every time I would click on the event tab, this event was posted up. It was crashing the game. I was really apprehensive about it, actually, because I just updated blue stacks and I was scared that my blue stacks was always causing a problem. But it was not. It was actually the game. They pushed out a patch last night to fix it. So you should now be able to get into the event tab and access this event. Uh, basically, this is a uh, this is a world level event uh, against uh, Asteracius, which is the minor tour that Bell fought in season one. I want to say it's either episode five or seven. I can't remember exactly which episode, but he fought Asteris and he beat Asteris and he uh, he went up a level. This this was uh, the reason he jumped up a level so fast is because of this fight. So basically, Asteris is, is demanding a rematch. <laughs> so that's what it's about. So you'll be fighting him. Uh, you need a fire team that's worked best. I managed to beat it. Uh, I really don't have that big of a fire team as of yet. I'm still working on it, and I made a leap toward it, uh, towards doing that today. I'll, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that here after I finish with this. But you'll get a two-star ticket, beating it normal, uh, three-star on hard, uh, a draw 11 ticket, and then a four-star guaranteed on the EX. Basically, you want to complete this at least once just to get in the rankings. Okay, the rewards for this are very, very, very generous. If you complete it once, you'll automatically be included into this one. So that's three lights, one Ascension Fauna and uh, six Hero Fauna. And, you know, as you can see, getting up higher, the rewards, max rewards are 15 Hero Lights, 30 Ascension Fauna, and 50 Hero Fauna. So those are very, very generous rewards. So get in there and do this as much as you can. Put together the best fire team that you can. If you don't have any fire characters, just put your strongest characters in there and do as much damage as you can. You've got 20 turns to beat him, okay? To S rank, you have to do it in 15 turns. I did it in 16, so I have not quite got within 15 turns, but I have not really been focusing uh, on this. I just threw in the team I had and went again just to see what I did, so I didn't focus on my fire team. Um, and uh, But I'm going to do the next time I do it. I'm going to focus on the fire team. So take a look at that and knock that out. Let's get back into that event tab there. Finish going over these events real quick here. All right, so we've got this event. It's going to end on the 14th. These are just stories, so read them. It's a little backstory. This is the one you need to be focusing on. This one ends on the 23rd, so this ends in four days. You want to make sure that you've cleaned out the store. Make sure you've cleaned out everything that has an availability limit. So if, it's, you know, if it says how many, you know, make sure this is all zeros, okay? Anything with an availability limit means it's definitely needed to level up your characters so they limit the amount that you can get. So you always want to make sure that you clear out anything that says left. Okay? Try to do that if you can. Okay? These event tickets and face stones, I've got a bunch of face stones, so that's not very important for me. But if you're just starting out, you want to clear this stuff. I've got hundreds of event tickets too, so definitely want to clear this out if you're if you're, you're new to the game okay and then once you've done that focus on the rerun event which is the winter reverie um, you want to do this simply because they got some good hero lights and faunas uh, essential faunas in the actual exchange so you want to always get those as I said so get these and clear out some of the other stuff too you know anything up in here whetstones I'm, gonna, I'm still working on this one myself so I haven't had a chance to get the tickets yet uh, and this is up until, uh, I believe, this, is it the 6th? It's up until the, yes, the 6th. You've also get a 4-star Limit Break Hestia in here, fully Limit Break her. She's an assist, but she's not bad. So if you're a free-to-play player or just starting your account, go for her. It's free. Once you've completed the, the last level on Very Hard, you'll have her, and you'll have uh, all the star, uh, 5 Limit Breaks to fully Limit Break her. And she has a 4-star. She's an assist. She's not bad. So... Go for her if you need to, all right? Uh, and then we've got the Hero Trials. If you uh, purchased one of these characters, if you drew on them, you can get an extra bond for them right here. Only one, but hey, if you've got to come up a little bit short, go for it. All right, so that's that. Inside of the uh, arena, we've got Record Buster up, uh, War Games up. If you want to do both of these, you can get time limited rewards for these. And then uh, the Master of War Games. This is the... Uh, the war games that the season's over this is season two so these are the finalists and then there's a battle you can predict and support do whatever you want to do take a look at it and just browse through it 
we didn't quite qualify this uh, this season, so you know maybe next season. We're getting close. We're going up. We're increasing. So let's talk about the banners because there's a lot to talk about. All right, first, uh, this is the 3.5 year anniversary gotcha draw. 11 free. It's a free pool. You get it once a day. I've drawn on it twice. I've not got anything yet, but these are not bad characters. So draw on it. It's free. Okay. <laughs> don't don't look a gift horse to about. Uh, so. This is a new uh, a copy of Bell. I know, as if we needed another copy of Bells. What do we got? 50 Bells right now? <laughs> it's not 50. I was joking, but it, it's quite a few. Uh, uh, decisive. Well, this is, uh, I'll be honest with you guys, it's not very good. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's probably a little bit better than the free characters. Most free characters don't have a great strength boost. But he does not have a plus percentage modifier for his damage. Okay. He's got some good physical resist and magic resist and some fire resist. So he's going to be very hardy, which is why I'm saying he's not a bad character. He's not going to go down easy with this much of a resist. It's not as good as Fierce Rage or Tarl's. Fierce Rage is 60. But 50 and uh, is not bad, okay? So if you're a free-to-play player or just starting out, this is a character you might want to seriously consider looking at. But just the fact that he doesn't have a damage modifier and I'll show you why that's important here shortly that means he's not gonna be quite as powerful and do as much damage as uh, some of the higher level characters could but he's not bad so if you want to you know go for him go for it okay uh, you're guaranteed to get him plus two breaks for him because on first fourth and tenth you will get a, you will get him I've drawn on these banners before the single character banners and you usually end up with more than two uh, I, the last time I did it, I think I got four. So it, this is this is you know it's worth it if you're really if you're just needing a good a good character. If you need to tank, he's going to be a good tank. Okay, don't look to him for damage. He'll do damage, but he's just not going to do that much. Uh, as it indicates, decisive will making him strong and sturdy. That's what this is, and he's a tank. Okay, and he will do very good for that. You get him fully limit broke. Uh, give him some good weapon and armor and he'll last okay so it's not a bad character but if you're looking for strength not the one I would go for and I'm looking for strength all right now here's the big thing and the main reason I put out this video this was the second anniversary event uh, for the Japan version of the game this uh, this was an awesome event guys I love this event totally awesome it lasted it spanned like it spanned like two months uh, it, awesome story it told about the, the how a warrior was attacked and, and how they you know fought back and defeated the evil um it, it was just it's just a, a heartbreaking story um uh, you know and you know, you get to you get a little bit of backstory on uh the goddess Estrella. uh she's the goddess of justice okay uh ryu's ryu is a member of her and if you remember ryu she's She's, you know, she was kicked out of the guild and stuff because she sought revenge. Uh, on, you remember, you remember in the episode of Bell when they were down at uh, on the 18th floor at the Oasis down there, and she was in front of all those swords that she had driven into the ground. Those were her dead comrades. Okay, they were attacked and killed. Okay, she sought revenge on them. Well, this is this is these are the ones that were not her. Um, these were her part of her group, the Estrella group that were killed so she was seeking revenge against them and she killed the the people responsible for that okay but they were the for the goddess of straits so that, that does not happen in this this is not a Ryu's uh, fall from grace or anything this is just giving you backstory uh, on these characters okay and the Australia goddess of justice how they stepped up to the plate and literally saved her area Aurora, okay so that's what the it was about but this were the draws that were associated with that event all of these are top-notch characters okay they're giving you a little bit of a discount here draw for the 11 with 200 iris okay so you definitely want to focus on this if you can okay I have not drawn on this banner I drew on this banner uh, because I, when when this event came out, I chose flaming, uh, flaming uh, Elise that I wanted to get. Okay, she was the I got her and I got two breaks, only two breaks for her. So I did not quite have enough to fully limit break her. Well, I drew on this gotcha this morning and I used all my gotcha, or I'm sorry, all my iris. But I did manage to finally complete. 
Flaming Blade Elise. Uh, as you can see, I've already got her broke three times. And I have two more bonds to complete. She will be fully maxed out. She is fire. So I will be finishing her up and throwing her in against uh, the Minotaur Resterius in that event. And it will help immensely because she is a beast. You remember when I was saying I always look for a character who has a damage modifier plus a percentage damage modifier on their damage? Well, she's got it. But it's for allies as well. Strength, magic, and fire attack damage plus 60%. And this is for allies. So you put her in on a flame team, a fire team, serious damage and serious damage modifier. And this is for allies. It's not just for her. So I've now got a, a pretty good team. Once I get her up, maxed out, I'm going to work on that and I'll have that done. I should be able to... Um, I, I've got I've got an, uh, another excellent character in my fire in terms of uh, Riveria. Where's Riveria at? Right here. She's a five star as well. As you can see, SSS triple S on the magic. So, uh, so I'm going to have a pretty good fire team. I'll be able. To, I think I'll be able to. I'll be able to do hard. I might not be able to do it in 15 terms, uh, turns, but I think I'll be able to do it. I'll definitely be able to do normal on 15 terms easily. So, but yeah, so I, so I got really lucky, but I also got lucky in another way. I had to do the full 10. I didn't get that final copy of Elise until the last one. I was sweating some bullets there. But in process, I ended up pulling four bonds for water version, ninth duel, Riveria, and she is good. Okay, she's got a plus 70% damage modifier. Okay, so as you can see, She's uh, she's a good character, so that's going to complete my water team. I had a full complete water team, but one of them was free to play. Well, now they're all pull full limited banner pools, which are stronger characters. So um, so I'm very happy with my water team. Once I get her done, we'll have a super damage water team. Uh, once I get at least done, we'll have a super damage fire team. So uh, and then uh, I already completed my uh, physical team because uh, I've got you know I've got uh, several of those uh, on this. Um, so I've got a physical team. So I, I just really need to start focusing on my wind and, and uh, thunder teams. So uh, those will be my next folks. I've got teams for that, but they're not just composed of a lot of free-to-play characters. Uh, to one or two in each. Team. So uh, so they're not quite to where they need to be. But it's slow. It's a work in progress. So we've got that. So definitely want to pull on those banners. They are excellent, excellent banners. Uh, now, if you come up short, you can get bonds. Let me talk about the bonds for a second real quick. You can get prism bonds. Prism bonds are used to uh, limit break characters. Okay, not time limited. Time limited. Time limited characters have to use a star bond. Star bonds can be got right here from the gnome exchange. So if you see any any event that has gnome tickets, you definitely want to get those. And you also get those from the hero and medical. These are prism bonds as well here too. So prism bonds and star bonds are different types of characters. One's for a limited time character and one is for a not limited time character. So the way to tell is by simply opening up the character. If it says time limited, it's a time limited character. Uh, let me find one that's not time limited. Uh, let me see if I can find one here. Yeah, not time limited. So she's, you know, so different bonds uh, a prism and star bond for different types of characters so don't get don't get those two mixed up don't go purchase a bond and find out if you purchase a bond and it's a star bond and it's not working uh, you might have to look it might need to be a prism bond instead okay so don't panic so there's two types so you want to purchase the two types whenever you have them okay so just you know keep an eye on them in the shops okay so that's where you get them and that's how you use them all right so what we'll do here is I'll probably do another video in a few days after I've got flaming uh, Blade at least fully leveled up on the fire team. We'll stick them in and we'll see how far we can go against Estorarius um, uh, in that uh, final robbery event. Okay. So, but the event is up and it's a good event. Good rewards. Excellent rewards. Can't do much better than uh, anytime you get Hero Lights and Ascension Fallen. You definitely want to jump on those because they are limited items, which means they only offer you uh, a certain amount at a time. And that's because those are the items that you need to fully limit break characters uh, to get them up to full five star five limit broke uh fully you know maxed out under ascension you always want to ascend your characters after you do that as well you need to have you know you need to have hero fauna and hero lights and stuff to do that 
and they that's why those in ascension phone that's why those things are limited okay but they have them in events and you don't have to spend money you just got to play the game that's what's so good about this game if you play this game i have never spent anything on this game and i have no problem at all completing so it's just a matter of time you know if, if you're going to if you're going to put some time in the game to play it uh, i enjoy the um, the the anime immensely i'm a big fan of the uh the anime the last episode here was just uh extremely suspenseful so it's a good it's it's written very well uh the game is very free to play friendly in terms of that so uh get in there and knock it out all right because uh, those events are going to be ending few in this uh you definitely want to get as high as you can inside of the rivalry event so that you can uh get some of the nice rewards uh, and as well as the tickets and stuff. All right. So uh, thanks a lot for watching everybody video uh, Remember to subscribe to the channel once you subscribe, you'll see a bell if you click on that bell You will be notified each time I drop a video. So this is Kenrear coming at you from the corner signing out